Lucas Media, Shakur Stevenson and Keyshawn Davis fought over the weekend, not against each other, but you know, on the same card. Now I've seen everybody make videos about it. I wanted to give an honest opinion about it, especially with it being in Shakur's home state and I guess Keyshawn's home state, huh? And I wanted to watch the fight with the sound off. A lot of times you could be persuaded depending on what one of them one of the commentators is saying. So starting out with Keyshawn's did a 10 rounder. I don't know why I keep thinking he was gonna do a 12 rounder, but he did 10 rounder at 135 pounds and the talent and skill was there you can see it he was obviously a lot quicker than his opponent he's a whole lot sharper than his opponent and you know but what i didn't see was him close it out i did see him hurt his opponent but he i didn't see him close it out for the big finish but it was all it was a solid performance and then seeing frank martin ran up on him look like after the fight or whatever trying to set up a fight so Keyshawn, he keeps talking about he's the he's supposed to be that guy I'm going to have to see him fight more tougher competition. Now, I know the dude he fought in a fighting against Frank Martin, but I you, I want to see a big name, honestly. It just and I got to see a 12 rounder. And then for Shakur, I try to be fair. A lot of people say he has boring fights and he puts people to sleep. The last fight fight, I end up going to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I went to sleep, woke up, watched the rest of it on ESPN Plus. But he started out kind of slow, then he picked it up. And again, I could see he was sharp and accurate but he did not close out the win and you saw people leaving the crowd in the i think it was the beginning of the 12th round people was leaving he was getting booed because you know shakur shakur talks a lot and i have no problem with that you got to sell a fight but you got to be able to back it up and if you're doing a 12 rounder and they're giving a sweet science of boxing most people are not into it floyd floyd was able to get away with it because his whole thing was you can't beat me it wasn't really on the sweet science so it didn't matter what he did to other people the whole point of the opponent was to hopefully beat him but you know hardcore fans said that floyd was a, a boring fighter now after the fight or uh, you can hear shakur shout out to blue i seen him pick grab the audio shakur was saying that both his hands was hurt and that that's the reason why he couldn't finish close out the deal but then he also said that in his last fight as well so at this point if this is true is it your hands are your hands getting brittle for playing all these years in boxing then he calls out lomachenko and tank davis and this was his last fight with top rank he turned down a five-year 15 five fight 15 million dollar deal with a bob aram top rank so it looked like he try, i know he's trying to get the best situation but i don't know if loma or tank will end up fighting him next only because shakur could have closed it out and sealed the deal tonight or saturday but he was unable to so now you're giving loma and tank davis leverage and i'm gonna make a separate video about loma saying he ain't got to fight tank right now but i would still be okay with the shakur tank fight because it can be for you can unify the belts uh, tank wba shakur wbc but i don't think this fight is going to happen next it's unfortunate that we boxing fans gonna probably have to wait at least another year before we can even give real discussions of that fight and in the future for shakur honestly he's going to have to close the deal he gonna have to close the deal especially when he tell you that he's that guy he has to be able to do that and really he could do and a lot of fighters are, are a little scared to do this but he could do what canelo do and that's bounce around from network to network Devin haney does it too shakur get you a two fight deal with or go even go independent but get you a, a two fight deal two three fight deal with amazon prime if you get, need to go over there or a three fight deal with the zone or something along those lines you could start to do it. fighters need to start putting the, their own money up and get more money off the back end could you imagine tank and shakur being independent and shakur said that uh the hood wants to see wants to see it yeah but are they going to pay for it but overall i don't think that the performance really helped shakur Keyshawn, I gotta see Keyshawn step up and fight a top better competition. But let me know y'all opinion. What do y'all think about Shakur? Is he boring? Do you think he can beat Tank Davis? I'm gonna make a separate video today about what I would think if they were to sign a contract right now. But let me know what y'all think.